Uh, no, we don't. You know, it, and it's so hard to to look at polls. You know, polls are so biased. You know, you know, depending on who who's doing the poll and for what purpose that they're doing the poll. You know, you can structure a poll to get whatever answer you know that you want to get. So it, it's hard it's hard to determine that. I think that there are a lot of of, of average citizens that really don't understand you know, that specific issue anyway. I don't think they understand, you know, what percentage of Americans pay what percentage of the taxes. You know, we have a big percentage that doesn't pay any taxes. Uh, so, you know, our, our property... And there are different types of taxes. There's a capital gain, there's income, there's all different types, and there are all different percentages to pay on that. Yeah, exactly right. And I think that, you know, uh, the average citizen... Uh, doesn't really understand that issue, uh, and so we're, no. we're we've been working on that proposition quite a bit to make sure that you know we feel like that we've got it right and that we're being fair, you know, to to both sides of the issue, but at the same time we're you know we're giving the facts and making it easy to understand Absolutely. so that people you know I'll the first thing yeah, I think one of the first things you have to do and Warren Buffett secretary. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, according yeah. to everybody, Warren Buffett's secretary pays more money than Warren Buffett does, which he which he doesn't. Hers is income and his is capital gain. It's apples and oranges, and people don't even seem to understand that. Well, that's you know that's part of our responsibility is to help you know people understand that you know we say that you know the middle class and then the rich you know I think we first have to define. You know, make sure that everyone understands, you know, where, where the line is, you know, what what is, you know, the middle class, who is considered, you know, wealthy. And uh, there, there's a lot there's a lot that's going to go into Why that. Why is there so much focus on who has what in this country? Why are people not focused on themselves? That's an even bigger question. I've been more focused on my own life and how better I can make it than what somebody else is doing. Who cares? Yeah, you know, but we've, uh, you know, but our our uh, our politicians have started that, you know, went down that Barack that Obama road. Started that. It. It's actually, it's, even before that, we got envy society. People are envy of others. My line would be, if somebody's doing so good, try and tax to yourself to that person, so some of that goodness can rub off to you. In other words, you learn from success. You don't tax success. And uh, to be successful, you're hanging around successful people. If you're constantly going to be failures, you're hanging around failed people or, or people that consistently put themselves down or want to fail or leech on to others. Then you're going to end up having an envy or a leeching society. Well, now we have a society of 1%, 98%, and 1%. 